Hey y'all, welcome back. So today we're gonna discuss the colon and why it is so important to keep the colon clean and to keep it healthy. So the colon is an organ that is located in the digestive system, which is about five feet long and it contains many, many different bacteria um, that your body needs to function at an optimal level. The purpose of the colon is to form waste, move waste out of the body, and to also absorb vital nutrients. The average person stores about five to 20 pounds of waste inside of the colon for many years. So let's say that you're eating three meals a day, right? So you have breakfast, you have lunch, and you have dinner, and you only have one bowel movement a day. So that's 14 bowel movements that's left inside of the colon every week. So what happens is uh, sticky uh, layers of mucus mixed with fecal matter can begin to develop inside of the colon and it begins to rot and it turns into poisons and toxins that end up being forced back into the bloodstream. And as a result, this results in disease. So in women, this has caused your hormones to be out of balance. It can cause fibroids in women and it's just not a good look. So ideally, it's very important to have a bowel, move, bowel movement shortly after you're eating. And eating foods that are low in fiber are not good for the colon. Eating processed foods, junk foods, um, eating meat, dairy, um, alcohol is not good for the colon as well. So eating foods that are really high in fiber is a really good way to keep the colon healthy. So that's your fruits, that's your vegetables. Flaxseeds are really high in fiber. And I personally like to take chia seeds every day, which are very, very high in fiber. They're also high in omega-3s and they also have some protein in there. So that's also really good for the colon. Um, taking a really good probiotic is really, really good for the, for the colon as well because we are constantly eating processed foods, um, junk foods, and sometimes that can throw off the good bacteria and cause the bad bacteria to overgrow. So getting a good quality probiotic is a really good way to make sure that the good bacteria is winning. So another good way of keeping the colon healthy is drinking lots and lots of water. Water, we already know the benefits of water. Water is really good for flushing out toxins, uh, which is another great benefit. Um, doing enemas is also another good uh, way to keep the colon clean and healthy. Um, I know enemas are becoming very popular and just it's just really good for helping to prevent disease and just a really good way to use water to clear out everything that's in the colon. Also doing a colon cleanse is really good for the colon. Maybe doing a, a colon cleanse about three to four times a year because we are constantly being bombarded with many, many different toxins. So some herbs that can assist in a colon cleanse are licorice root. Um, it's really good for the digestive system. It's good for acid reflux, ulcers, and it's also good for someone who's constipated. Um, and it's also a really good anti-inflammatory. Um, ginger root is also another good one. It's anti-inflammatory. It's also good for um, blood uh, circulation. It's good for respiratory problems. And it's also good for nausea. Um, another good one is bladderwrack. And I spoke about bladderwrack in my last video and bladderwrack is very, very high in fiber. It's also high in iodine too for, it's good for um, the thyroid. And it also can help aid in weight loss. Um, another good one is dandelion. Dandelion is good for the colon. It's also good for the liver and it's also a natural blood, a blood cleanser. And the last one I have for you is milk thistle and milk thistle is amazing for, um, liver detoxification. Right, so I hope this video was helpful and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.